Hey, can I come in? Come on, please. I know you're just lying in bed again, dude. Yes, you are. Okay, I don't want to invade your privacy, but I have to come in. Sorry. I thought you said you weren't lying in bed. <laughs> okay, what's going on? No, I'm sorry, but I can't leave. I can't leave you alone. This has to stop. This is like the 20th time in the past couple weeks you've done this. You come home with this expression on your face like you left your soul at the bus stop. You barely say two words to me or take more than a bite or two of your dinner. And then you slink back to your little lair here, turn all the lights off, and just lie there. At first I thought maybe you'd gotten addicted to World of Warcraft or something while I was on vacation, because I know you're not cool enough to be addicted to anything else, but I peek inside your room and you're not at your desk, you're not at your computer, hell, you're not even on your phone. You're always just in bed. Look, I'm not leaving until you talk to me, so... If you won't get out of that bed, then I guess I'm going to have to get in. Oh, that got your attention, huh? <laughs> Whoa, your sheets are so soft. Why don't I get to have sheets like this? <laughs> okay, how about we compromise? Even if you're not ready to talk... Can you at least please look into my eyes so I know you're still here in this room with me and not a million miles away somewhere? Please? Okay, thank you. Wait, have you been crying? Oh, oh sweetheart. No, please don't look away. Look. I didn't mean to make you feel weird or anything. It's really not weird at all, okay? It's not. I was literally sobbing when Princess Bubblegum and Marceline finally got together in Adventure Time, okay? I'm the last person on Earth in a position to judge another person for crying. <laughs> I just... I didn't know you felt this bad at all. And I'm worried about you. What's going on? You've been really depressed? For how long? Did... did something happen at work or somewhere else? Did I do something? Okay, well... If I ever do do something, you can absolutely tell me, alright? Please believe me when I say you can tell me. I don't ever want to do anything that makes you feel like you clearly feel right now. Can you talk to me more about how you feel? I want to hear it. It's okay if you need a minute. I get that maybe it's not easy to put it all into words. In the meantime, is it okay if I hold you? You just really look like you could use some cuddles right now. Oh, of course. It's my pleasure. That's what good roomies are for. <laughs> Take your time. I'm not letting go anytime soon. You feel like a failure? Look, I know. I know stuff hasn't always gone your way lately with the... Well, we don't have to get into all that, but... The point is... 
I didn't realize you'd been taking it so hard. I'm sorry. I should have noticed. I know maybe it feels like you're... You're not in the place you want to be in life. No, no, it's okay. You don't have to move. If you feel comfortable with your head on my chest, you're absolutely welcome to stay there. Whatever feels snug and safe for you. Anyway, I get it. I mean, I won't pretend I know exactly how you feel, but I've struggled with depression too. There were times, times when I felt so horrible. I felt like a loser who couldn't do anything right. <laughs> I am not perfect. Come on, that's really sweet of you to say, but you of all people know I have all my flaws and scruples and insecurities just like you and every other human being out there. I have my fair share of bad days too. And I know you know that because you're the one who helps me get out of bed when I do. Is it okay if I stroke your hair? Okay. I guess what I'm trying to say is... I know what it's like to feel depressed, to feel like you're just so far from the life you pictured yourself having and you don't know where to go or what to do or how to tell anyone. Maybe you feel like you're never going to be happy again. And I know that's why you don't eat dinner or talk to anyone or do any of the stuff that normally makes you happy, because it doesn't feel like any of it even matters anymore, because none of it makes you feel one bit less empty, but, but you have to try, okay, I know it's hard, really hard, but you have to try. Even just a little bit every day, that's the only way to climb out of this hole. But I promise you won't have to do it alone. I'm your friend, and I'm here with you. Do you? Do you think you can work with me to get better? Oh, come here. Lean into me. I've got you. Mm, I know it feels like that right now, but it won't always. I promise. You don't have to apologize to me for being emotional. Ever. I've got you, okay? You can be yourself with me. I wouldn't want you any other way. Tell you what. I have an idea. I'm going to give you a coupon. Yes, you heard me right. A coupon. Hang on a second. Is there... A pen around here? Hmm. Oh, here's one. Do you mind if I write on the back of this receipt? I assume you're not planning to return the, um, cough medicine and a Snickers to the pharmacy. <laughs> Voila! Here you go. Why, yes, you read that exactly right. You, my lucky friend, have won a lifetime supply of free cuddles and hugs from yours truly. 
redeemable whenever you need them for as long as you're feeling depressed. <laughs> okay, you can laugh at me if you want. At least when you do, you smile. But seriously, I know you're shy about asking when you need to be held sometimes. I don't ever want you to be reluctant about that. That being said, if you accept this <clears throat> very serious, legally binding offer, you have to promise to try for me, alright? So no more silent treatment, no more not eating your food or drinking your water, and absolutely no more lying in bed with the lights off at 4pm. Deal? All right. Pleasure doing business with you, buddy. <laughs> no, it's okay. We don't have to start right now. We can wait till tomorrow. <laughs> we can just stay like this if you want to. It's already pretty late anyway, and your sheets are so soft. I don't know if I'll ever be able to enjoy my own bed again anyway. <laughs> You're going to get through this. I promise. You're an amazing person. And even if you can't see that right now, I can. I never stopped seeing it. Even when you stopped acting like yourself for a while. I know that brave, beautiful, brilliant person I know is still down there, beneath all those gray storm clouds. We're going to get through this together, one step at a time. Now quit hogging your amazing sheets. I'm stealing these after you fall asleep, by the way. Don't say I didn't warn you. <laughs> Hmm. Or maybe I'll just have to sleep in your bed from now on. 